What's up guys? You're watching Poots Garage, home of the 82 Chevy K30 trail build. This week, we got a product review. So we got another item from Vibor. And I'm pretty excited about this one, so let me show you what we got. So for this video, we got something really useful, something I can really use in this shop, something I was really looking for. So if you've been around a while, you've been watching me build this truck, and I've been using this extension cord like crazy. All the angle grinders I'm using, the cutoff wheels, uh, my lights, all this stuff. I, I'm, I've been using the heck out of this cord, and it's getting really wore out. And to fix that, we got its replacement. So in this box is a 50-foot extension cord on a reel, and I'm going to mount to the wall. So it's going to fix so many issues that I've had around this shop. So let's get into the box. I also got to say that I'm going to have a link to this in the description of the video. So make sure you guys go and check that out. Unboxing this is, is really nothing crazy. It's just a nice unit and a bunch of stuff falls out. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend like I didn't just do that. So this is everything we got. We got our little uh, instruction manual, which is, is decent, it's pretty good. It'll show me how to install this thing on the wall and whatnot. Lots of packaging. We have our wall bracket this is a pretty nice piece right here actually i like it we have our little package of hardware which is uh pretty decent standard but good and now for the meat and potatoes there we go so this is the main unit it's a plastic case we got our cords coming off here this is actually the cord that plugs into the wall this is a nice four and a half foot length so you don't have to mount this thing like right next to the outlet you got a little bit of wiggle room to mount it and then on the business end, we actually have a three-prong deal here. This is actually really nice. So you can plug three things in. Just be careful of how much stuff you plug in because you don't want to overload things. So to give you a couple details on what this is, this is the Vivor retractable extension cord reel. The part number for this exact unit is DL610. The end that you actually plug into the wall, you have it lead on, so you don't have to attach this like right next to your uh, wall outlet. You got a little bit of wiggle room to mount it. The business end has three prongs for multiple outlets, which is really nice, but just be careful how much stuff you plug in. The wire size on this is a 14 gauge, and it's rated for 13 amps, plus it has a little resettable breaker on the front. So I'm really excited to get this thing mounted to the wall and start using it. So what we need to do right now is get this thing mounted to the wall. Now I got a previously mounted little chunk of two by six. It's screwed into my uh, the stud in my wall, so it's got a nice firm place to mount this thing. Now the reason I'm not screwing this directly to the wall is because of the spacing between my screws here. That's that's wider than the studs in my wall. So I want to make sure this thing has a nice solid mounting surface, which is this. I also want to show off the uh, hardware that actually comes with it. It's pretty nice. So it comes with your big wood screws. These are actually really fat. These are uh, going to be real strong for this. Mounting this little unit to the wall here. So that'll be plenty strong. And then the other thing it comes with is these uh, actual anchors for mounting into like concrete or stone or, you know, cinder block or, you know, if you got some hard surface that, you know, your walls aren't, aren't just regular wood. So these are actually really nice to have. Now you can mount this thing however you want. So this is just the way I'm doing doing it this works best for me but I'm gonna drill some pilot holes in this piece of wood just so those big screws don't you know split it or have a hard time getting in there Now that we got the bracket mounted to the wall securely, the easy part. You'll notice the uh, mounting surface on the uh, reel itself has these little notches cut out on the bottom and that's so you can just do this. Put your little retainer screw up at the top, plug it into the wall, and you're done. 
And this thing's pretty cool. So it swings from side to side, depending on uh, which way you're going, I guess. But uh, also, like, you can just store it. It puts it flat up against the wall and just let it hang and it's out of the way. You can walk right through and no big deal. Another feature I really like about this is uh, when it's plugged in, it has a little orange light that glows on the head of this thing. So you can tell when it's actually plugged in. So like when you're crawling around underneath the vehicle, underneath the truck, like I always am, you can, when you grab the end of this thing, you gotta plug something in, you know it's actually plugged into the wall. So let's actually try it out. I like it. It's gonna be a great addition to the shop. Now for cleanup. Normally, I got this to deal with. I gotta reel this up, I gotta wrap it up, and I gotta put it in a nice spot, right? Not anymore. Now I just gotta go. I'm done. <laughs> so that's it. I actually really like this product. I'm gonna use the whole lot of this thing. I'm gonna use this thing a lot, so uh, I'm really excited about actually having this in the garage because it's something I've actually wanted to get for a long time. Just for cleaning up and just keeping things organized and plus I got a longer cord now, you know. So that old one, that's gonna go as my backup now. If you guys wanna check this thing out, you can uh, check it out at the Beaver store on Amazon and I will actually put the link in my description of the video. So go ahead and check that out. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Poots Garage. See you guys later.